Hi, welcome. You are at the Cade Museum Creativity Lab located in sunny Gainesville, Florida. And you're probably looking at this video to say, what are they doing over at the Cade? Well, we have some really great activities that we wanna share with you. They're hands-on, experiential, and the best part is they're with things you probably have laying around at home in your junk drawer or garage. So stay tuned. Today we are going to do a great experiment, making a pressure dependent solid that looks like this. It's not messy. You're only gonna need two ingredients, cornstarch and hair gel. No brand name labels. Whatever you have in the kitchen is gonna work. You are also gonna need a spatula for mixing, a half cup measure or scoop, and a heavy plastic or stainless steel bowl. Always ask permission from your grown-ups before you start using things in the kitchen. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is give yourself a good half cup of hair gel. Now, before you go out and buy any new hair gel or more expensive hair gel, all you need is hair gel that's inexpensive and any scent you wish. Now, you're gonna mix your hair gel for about a minute. And what this helps is to break down the viscosity. That means the thickness, and if there's any liquid that's settled in the hair gel, it will mix it right back up into the gel. Our object is to make a slime, if you will. Kind of a non-slime, not with glue, not with a borax, because parents are kind of tired of that. This is something else. But remember, this is gonna be made with cornstarch, and it's gonna have a very different feel to it. And when people are plastic scientists looking for different plastics or substitutes for plastics that are earth-friendly and plant-based, like the one we're gonna make with cornstarch, for instance, it takes a lot of trial and error. So you never should be afraid to try new things when you're in the kitchen. Always ask permission, though, before you're using your family's products. I'm gonna take a half a cup of cornstarch and I'm gonna place it in the bowl going to slowly mix it about. You're going to get a little messy. Don't forget, great scientists and discoveries and inventions get messy sometimes. But a true scientist and inventor will always clean up their messes after. Now, if you look at this, you probably don't want to put your hands in there quite yet. Well, maybe some of you do, but not yet. So I'm gonna add another half cup of cornstarch. Now you're gonna see something change. This is going to change into what we would call a non-Newtonian material. It's gonna be a pressure dependent solid which means when we apply pressure, well, you're just gonna have to see. So can you see it starting to change? Now this looks very interesting. Almost as if it's ready. But hold on, through the miracle of cameras and science, we have the finished product here. what happens when I put pressure on it best part no mess your parents are gonna love this now you're feeling a little sparkly today why not add a little bit of scent to it with scented oil a couple drops and you can knead it right in. Wow. 
wild, right? This gets better. You want to hang on to it after you're done playing with it? Just keep it in a bag or a plastic container and it'll hang around for several weeks. And there you go.